morning everyone so today our story is going to be uh, about a bedtime story the very noisy night It was the middle of the night and Big Mouse was fast asleep, can you see? In his big bed, Little Mouse, though, was wide awake. In his little bed, Big Mouse, Big Mouse, called Little Mouse. I can hear something rushing around the house, huffing and puffing. Oh, one's awake, one's fast asleep. Big Mouse opened one eye and one ear. It's only the wind. Can I come into your bed? asked Little Mouse. No, said Big Mouse. There isn't room. And he turned over and went back to sleep. Little Mouse lay listening to the wind. Then suddenly, between a huff and a puff, came a tap, 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 tap. Little Mouse climbed out of bed, opened the front door just a crack and peeped out. Whoosh! went the wind but there was no one outside. Big Mouse! Big Mouse! called Little Mouse. I can hear something tapping. Perhaps there's a burglar on the roof. Big Mouse got out of bed and opened the bedroom curtains. Look! he said. It's only a branch tapping on the window. Go back to sleep. Can I come into your bed? asked Little Mouse. No! said Big Mouse. You wriggle. Little Mouse lay in his own bed and listened to the wind, huffing and puffing and the branch tap tapping and someone calling, Ooh. Little Mouse climbed out of bed again. This time he looked under it. Then he looked in the wardrobe and feeling very frightened, he called. He cried, Big Mouse, Big Mouse, I think there's a ghost in the house and it's looking for me. It keeps calling, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. Big Mouse sighed, sat up and listened. It's only an owl, he said. It's awake like you. Can I come into your bed? asked Little Mouse. No, said Big Mouse. Your paws are always cold. And Big Mouse pulled the blanket over his head and went back to sleep. Little Mouse got back into his own bed and lay and listened to the wind, the huffing and puffing, the branch tap tapping, and the owl hooting. But shh, what was that? Big Mouse, Big Mouse, he said. I can hear a drip. It's drip dripping. I think it's raining inside. And Little Mouse jumped out of bed and fetched his red umbrella. Big Mouse got out of bed too. He opened the front door. Be quiet, wind, he said. Be quiet, branch. Be quiet, owl. But they took no notice. Then Big Mouse went into the kitchen, turned off the dripping tap and put away the umbrella. Can I come into your bed? asked Little Mouse. No, you're nice and snug in your own bed, said Big Mouse, taking him back into the bedroom. Little Mouse lay and listened to the wind huffing and puffing the branch tap tapping and the owl hooting, and just as he was beginning to feel very sleepy, indeed he heard, Wee, wee, wee! Big Mouse, Big Mouse, he called. You're snoring. Wearily, Big Mouse got out, got up. He put his earmuffs on Little Mouse's ears. He put a paper clip on his own nose, and he went back to bed. <laughs> Can you see the fluffy pink? Earmuffs. Little Mouse lay and listened to nothing. It was very, very quiet. He couldn't hear the wind huffing, or the branch tapping, or the owl hooting, or Big Mouse snoring. It was so quiet that Little Mouse felt he was all alone in the world. He took off the earmuffs. He got out of bed and pulled the paper clip off Big Mouse's nose. Big Mouse! Big Mouse! he cried. I'm lonely. Big Mouse flung back his blanket. Better come into my bed, he said. So Little Mouse hopped in and his paws were cold and he needed just a little wriggle before he fell fast asleep. 
Big Mouse lay and listened to the wind huffing and puffing, and the branch tapping, and the owl hooting, and Little Mouse snoring, snuffling, and very soon he heard the words waking up, but neither of them heard the alarm clock. Because they were both fast asleep. <laughs> very asleep. And that is your story for today. I hope you have a lovely day. The sun is coming out. I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.